Welcome to the homework for lesson five. This is module six of first grade. Get your name on here before you forget. And you may draw or cross off to show your work. 10 more than 79 is, well, let's look at what we have here. There's a, here's a group of five tens, so that's 50. And then you have 60, 70 there, and this is nine more. So you have 79. So you need what you need to do is draw another 10. There. That's a quick 10. So 10 more. Now you have one more 10, so that's 89. And now we have to look at 10 less than 81. So here we see a group of 5. That's 50, 60, 70, 80. 81 is what we have here. And we want 10 less. So that means we're going to cross one out. And now how many 10s do we have? We have 7 10s. And we still have that single one. For part C, one more than 79. So we're going to add another cube. And that's going to make this five tens, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And this will make a group of 10 now, 80. And now what's one less than 80. So what we're going to do is we're not going to cross out a whole 10. We're just going to cross out one of them. And I'm just going to write down that that's a 9 now. So what we have is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 9. 79. Find the mystery numbers. You may make a drawing to solve, help solve if needed. And that a drawing would look something like those. Quick 10s and 1s by either adding or crossing out. And the first one here says 10 more than 75. Well, we need one more 10. If we have seven tens and we're adding one more 10, we're going to have eight tens and five ones. So that's 85. And one more than 75. Well, starting out with 75, and we're going to change, we're going to have the same number of 10s, 7. We're going to add one more 1, so now we'll have 6 1s instead of 5, so that's 76. 10 less than 88, so we're going to start with 8, 88. That's 8 10s and 8 1s. 10 less means we're going to have 1 less 10, so instead of 8 10s, we're going to have 7 10s. We'll still have the 8 1s, though. So 10 less is 78. And 1 less than 88. Well, again, we're going to start with 88. That's 8 tens and 8 ones. And if we're going to have 1 less, then that means we're looking at our ones. And that's going to be 1 less. So instead of what's 1 less than 8, that's 7. We're still going to have the 8 tens, 87. And here we're just doing some different work here with one more, one less, 10 more, 10 less. And what's one more? So just regular counting, 40, 41. After 50 comes 51. After 65 comes 66. After 69 would come 70. And this is just one more. So this is regular counting. What would come next? 99, 100 comes after 99. And we're writing the number that is 10 more. Be careful with this. But mostly we're just looking at the tens digit here. So 60, 70. Just think if you're counting by tens. And after 70, you know, it's sometimes if you don't, you can't remember what comes next, you can just start from 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Oh, it's 80 comes next. Sometimes that's what you have to do. 
But really, we should just be looking at that tens digit every time and thinking, what's one more ten? It would be 87. What's one more ten? From 89, it would be 99. And usually, it doesn't, it's not going to change the ones digit. 90. And the next, when you're counting by tens, what comes after 90? That's 100. And now we're counting backwards. So these are less. What's one less? 53. If we're counting backwards, we'd have one less. That ones digit is going to be one less. So we're still going to have 50, but it's going to be 52. And one less there. That means, of course, that's also going to be two is one less than three. But we'll still have the 70. And then zero is one less than one. But we'll still have the 70. And here, 1 less than 80. Well, that's a 0. So you're thinking of, like, what's 1 less than 0? You can't really do that, right? But you have to look at this number. What's 1 less than 80? Well, 70 if you're counting by 10, so it's 79. And what's 1 less than 100? 99. And now... Counting backwards by 10, ten, what's 10 less than 50? 40. 10 less than 60 is 50. 10 less is easier, is a little bit easier than 1 less sometimes. 84, because you just have to look at that 10's digit, and the 1's digit won't always stay the same. 1 less than 90, 10 less than 91 is going to be 81. 10 less than 100 is going to be... 90. And now fill in the missing numbers in each sequence. When you're doing uh, work like this, you want to see are the numbers getting larger or smaller? First thing you want to notice. Then are the, how much are they getting larger or smaller by? Are they getting one bigger or one smaller? Are they getting 10 bigger or 10 smaller? Or 5 bigger or 5 smaller? So that's what you do to look for the pattern. The first thing you want to look for are, are the numbers getting larger or smaller. So here it looks like 50, 51, 52. They're getting larger. They're getting one larger each time. So the next one is going to be 53. And here, 62, 61. Well, let, let's go across and do B next. Okay, we're going to do this one next. So 79, 78, 77. They're getting smaller. So And they're getting smaller by ones because we see we're in the 70s all three times here so 76 and here we're in the 60s and they're getting smaller by ones so you can see 2 1 0 60 and then 59 comes next and, and it counts down from there here we're in the 80s so and it looks like 83 is here and 85 and 86 so they're getting larger by ones What's one larger? 84. And here it looks like we're counting by 10, 60, 70, 80, and they're getting larger. So 10 more is 90. And here, counting backwards from 100 by 10s, 10, 90, 80, 70. And hopefully you notice 10, 9, 8, 7. Those tens digits are counting backwards. And so now here we're looking at 57, 67. So let's see that. 50, 5 tens, 6 tens, 8 tens. So in between is going to be 7 tens, and they all have 7 ones. 89, 79, 69, and then 59. Here the numbers are getting smaller. Right, they're going, they're getting smaller, but we're missing the first number. So sometimes this can be tricky, but when that happens, you don't know where you started. Uh, sometimes the trick is to do it backwards and think backwards. So if I look at this, instead of reading it from left to right, what if I read it from right to left? And just thought about what should come next. 
So if I do that, if I read it backwards, here's what I'm going to see. 97, 98, 99, oh, 100. So sometimes that helps. And it's the first thing that's missing. Read it backwards. And here we have, it looks like the numbers are getting smaller because we have 84 and here we have 64. So since these both end in fours, I'm thinking for, they have fours for ones digits. I'm thinking they're all going to have fours because this is getting smaller by tens. So what's in between 80 and 60? 70. And then now I can use that same trick if I want. Reading it backwards, 60, 70, 80. This has to be 90, 94.